What's up, crew? I am so excited of this new season of all that God is doing in our lives over here at the Critique Crew family, Kiki's Critique. We have been working very hard at becoming our highest best self. And I believe like this is a season, this is a time that we press in, that we dig deeper, that we push ourselves harder and stronger than we ever have before. So we have some new segments coming up this season that I am so super excited about. Some is something that we're trying again and others is something new and a whole new vibe and a good new energy as we are entering the whole new season in our lives. So for just to kick it off, we have on Wednesday, we have what's up? Wednesday. Yes, what's up, y'all? Where we just come together and catch up with each other and find out what's up by catching up. And so we get dive a little bit deeper and have some fun as we find out some things that's going on with me. And I definitely want to find out some things that's going on with you so we can just share with each other the exciting new things that we are just taking our leap of faith into, right? Right, okay. And we also have on, of course, Sundays, our spiritual connections, and we're finishing up our Rags to Riches series. We're smack dead in the middle of the riches right now. And so let's finish strong with our Rags to Riches series. I hope that you are enjoying it, and I hope that it is literally taking you from Rags to Riches, okay? And then on December 4th, we're kicking back off our Critiquing It Classy podcast live. I am so excited. We have great topics. It's a whole new energy, great new vibe. And so I'm looking forward to just being live with you guys and having an opportunity to just share in a way that we have not been able to share before. And so, guys, I hope that you are tuning in to Kiki's Critique. Um, If this is your first time coming over here to this channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. We are vibing over here. We becoming our best selves. We are a family here and we just hope that you're feeling right at home. There's nobody perfect over here. We are all inclusive and we don't throw stones over here, okay? There's no judgment because that's not even our, our swag, okay? We just here to learn from each other and become our highest best up in the process. So I'm looking forward to this new season with you all. And oh, Vlogmas is going to be coming up too. So we're going to have uh, seven days of non-stop video fun, okay, just as we kick in off the holiday season. So stay tuned over here at Kiki's Critique. You don't want to miss the exciting new things that's coming up this season. What's up, Critique crew? We are back and we are in full effect every Wednesday for What's Up Wednesday as we just vibe and catch up with each other and find out what's going on in your life and in my life too. And also on Sundays for our spiritual connection as we vibe spiritually so we can become our highest best self together. I hope you guys are excited as I am and I look forward to seeing you then. What's up, Critique Crew? It is I, Key, and welcome to Kiki's Critique. Over the next several weeks, we are deep diving into this new series that God has brought to my heart called From Rags to Riches. Um, Rags to Riches is us growing stronger spiritually and not not being ashamed of our former gears, our, our start, our beginning, the trauma of our past, the shame of our past, but but to take the things that we have gone through and to use those tools that we've learned to glorify God and allow Him to show up in our lives victoriously. I don't know about you, but the story that I want to tell over my life is that I slayed the giants. I showed up. I beat the enemy that tried to attack me and my family and my home. That I was a conqueror. I was more than a conqueror through Christ who lived in me. The story that I want to tell is that I fought all the Goliaths 
in my life and I came through the fiery furnace and I didn't smell like smoke. If you want that story, if that is the life that you are set up to live and you already know if you are in that flow because you know where you started. I don't know about y'all, but my, my beginning wasn't that strong. And so this series is very important to my heart. And I pray, I pray that it blesses each and every one of you as we die for the next several weeks in rags to riches. So get ready, y'all, because this stuff is about to be good. In this mirror, I see tears, blood, sweat, fear That I ain't enough peers, looking for the flaws Here, is it what was thought? Maybe, they plotting all here And wishing death on me, but couldn't be the Paul Bear So they bear witness, I'm a hand on my business Got my hand on this vision, a mission to make a difference The kitchen ain't hot as I am in and I do the dishes Do it, I build the bridges that bring the fruit to fruition Once I started, I finished, no matter how long I fall The trophy said I go, I know you probably don't really know me yet I go inside, don't push it out I built a bomb and I'm taking to put it down already I didn't have preparation, why you think I'm impatient Instead of sitting here waiting to have my feet on the pavement I'ma save them days that you were gazing in amazement Later remember the same conversation Cause we keep on grinding And I'm saying that's no matter what life pitch batter up We keep on thriving If you started from the bottom, ain't no matter cause you got it, oh yeah We keep on climbing What's up, Critique Crew? It is I, Key, and welcome back to Kiki's Critique. I am so, so super excited to be back with you guys again today, and y'all saw that title, right? Okay, Judgment. Okay, this is part one because when I was praying over this message and um, what God wanted us to talk about today like I, I literally was like really up in the air I had a couple ways to go about this and a couple um you know you know messages in which this could work but um through prayer and just allowing God to do what he's going to do um I feel confident that this is going to be a blessing to a lot of us who are on the come up that we're working hard to come up come on now that we've been down for so long that we've been low for so long that we've been in the background for so long that we have been hiding our talents and didn't know what our abilities were come on now and that now this is our come up time this is our time to come up to shine okay to get a w a win come on y'all whose time is it for a win whose season is it to come up to do things differently to be your highest best self well i don't know about you y'all but i'm feeling fired up about this word already because i don't know what god is going to share with us through this word but i believe i believe i believe that if we are in agreement together then this word is going to be for us come on hallelujah and we're going to just come Come on up, y'all, and get this win. So, y'all, come on now. Let's talk about this, okay? When hateration hits home. Okay? Yes. When hateration knocks on your door. When hateration of what it is that you are doing comes strolling through your home, your living room, your 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 neighborhood, your 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 Facebook feed, your Instagram. Come on, when it when hateration just grows right into your environment and and just decides to just have a seat right there with you. Come on, come up. You want to come up. 
Because see, anytime hateration comes and have a sex, baby, we on the come up. Because that is kind of what we want. We, 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 it don't feel good. We, 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 we feel a little, you know, a, a certain type of way about that. Especially when it's a friend or a family member that's showing hateration. It's showing that their support of you is not really genuine. It's, it's more about like, is that the right thing to say? that I, you know I want you to be you know succeed but maybe I don't want you to be better than me uh, I want you to do well but maybe I want you to uh, only do so well come on come on y'all when hateration has a seat and just sits right next to you so y'all already know I'm, I'm ready to just hop on into this I, I'm, I'm ready to just get on into this because we I I believe that this is going to this is this is already a two-part series okay this is two parts okay um the judgment of our come up this is part one because as I was working on this I really felt strong in my heart guys I felt strong inside of me that we need to take our time with this because you know this is this is very very serious because as we are growing in God as we are um, are maturing spiritually as we are you know gaining our riches and, and growing in our businesses and, and, and growing in, in our brands and what we're doing then there is a, a place where there's going to be judgment People are going to be looking at you because now you're coming to the forefront. Now people are seeing what you're doing. See, they didn't pay attention to you as long as you stayed quiet, as long as you didn't do anything, as long as you were just, you know, you you laid on the side of the road, okay, near death. They, that, they, they, they was fine with you then. But when you get moving, when you get to picking yourself up, when you get to saying, you know what, I will continue. I will keep trucking along. I will not quit. I will not grow with and doing good okay because in due season I know I will reap if I do not faint if we come too far to faint we come too far to faint so God I, I, I said Lord okay so what are we going to talk about because we are in a riches series and I, I um, for me I'm growing in riches just like you growing in riches this message is hitting me just like it's hitting you okay this is something that I'm working through as God is, is giving us this word he is not just talking to you but he's talking to me too so I have to research this word I have to study this word I have to get with God on it because and, and even still in my study time, I don't know how it's going to flow when the, when the camera come on. I don't know how it's going to come up out of me when I start when I sit before you. Come on now, y'all. That's when the, we trust the anointing. We trust what God is going to do when he wants to deliver us and, and to present a word to us. This is when we allow God to have his way in our lives. Come on, y'all. Let's get into this word. Let's get into this word. Okay, guys. Romans 14, verse 1. Y'all, we're gonna read this thing all the way down to 12. Okay. And I and 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 next week we're gonna read it from the Amplified. But today, I'm just, I'm reading it out of my Bible, okay, um, which is um, the King James Version, okay, yes, yes, we are um, New King James Version, that's that's how we gets down, okay, so we're reading it out of the New King James Version, uh, that's what my Bible is, and so um, I, I, I want us to take our time and listen to this, because um, it's, it's very, very rich. And I mean, this, we can dissect this thing and break this thing on down. And, um, this is, this is, this is Paul, um, in the, in the, um, talking to about the, the, the law of liberty and the law of love. Okay. Yes, this is, this is Romans. Okay. So, um. Here we go. Let's let's get into this. 14. 
receive one who is weak in faith, but not to disputes over doubtful things. For one believes he may eat all things, but he who is weak eats only vegetables. Let not him who eats despise him who does not eat, and let him who does not ju eat judge him who eats. For God has received him. For who are you to judge another servant? To his own master he stands or falls. Indeed, he will be made to stand, for God is able to make him stand. One person esteems one day above another. Another esteems every, every day alike. Let each be fully convinced in his own mind. He who observes the day observes it to be the Lord. And he who does not observe the day to the Lord, he does not observe it. He who eats, eats to the Lord, for he gives God thanks. And he who does not eat to the Lord, he does not eat and give God thanks. For none of us lives to himself and no one dies to himself. For if we live, we live to the Lord, and if we die, we die to the Lord. Therefore, whether we live or die, we are the Lord's. For this is the end Christ, for this is the end Christ died and rose and lived again, that he might be Lord of both the dead and the living. By why do you judge your brother? Or why do you show contempt for your brother? For we shall all stand before the judgment seat of Christ. For it is written, As I live, says the Lord, every knee shall bow to me, and every tongue shall confess to God. So that each of us shall give account of himself to God. Therefore, let us not judge one another any more, but rather resolve this, not to put a stumbling block or to cause a fall in our brother's way. Father, we come to you in the mighty name of Jesus. Thanking you first and foremost that you are, that you are, that you are, that you are, and that you are able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we can ask or think. And we thank you, Lord. And you said that as or think according to the power that is at work within us. Come on, ha! Hallelujah, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for your anointing, for your power to be able to break off chains, to be able to destroy bondages. We thank you, Lord, for your word that heals, that comfort, that, that gives us the wisdom that we need to become our highest, best self, Lord. I come to you and humbly come to you to the throne of your grace. Great God creators of all the universes, creator of the heavens, great God that you are. Come and sit in this place and do that thing that you do when you show up in a room, in the atmosphere, and your love abound and abase throughout our hearts and our spirits and our minds. Come in and have your way, Almighty Father. Give us the wisdom that we need to make right decisions, to make right judgments. Come on, Lord. Give us the, the wisdom that we need to make right judgment over our own lives so that in turn we can be free enough to make right decisions concerning another. We thank you for this word. We thank you for what you get ready to do in our lives. And we thank you for this opportunity to share and to grow and to come up together, Father. In Jesus' holy name, amen, y'all. Amen, y'all. We on this come up. So let's, let's talk about What's this, y'all. guys? I am dropping in and right in the middle of our video just to take a pause to say 
Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you liked our vibe. I hope you like the content that is going on over here. And because if this is your first time here, I hope you would consider becoming part of the Critique Crew family by liking, giving me that thumbs up. Okay, that's how you like. By commenting, typing something into that comment section so I can hear from you. Say new subscriber here. Let me know where you're from and give me some input, some feedback. And also subscribe, hit that notification bell so you will be notified every time a new video is uploaded. So that's all. Thank you for watching. Back to the you know when hateration comes to your door, that's why this scripture was so important because Paul was saying he said, "Receive one who is weak in faith, but not to dispute over doubtful things." He said, "Receive your brother who 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 is 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 weak in faith, who is different from you." Because I have people who are in, a, in my life that may be not as strong in faith. They 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 are analytical people. They're mindful people, and so their faith is not strong. And 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 Paul was saying here, even in this, but don't dispute over doubtful things, over things in which they are their opinions. We don't have to fight over our opinions. We don't have to disagree because you have an opinion that is different than mine. You see, this is doubtful things. What I'm assured of, there's no debating over. What you're assured of, there's no debating over, right? So we can receive someone who is weak in faith, but as long as we're not disputing over those doubtful things, over those things that, that they may have an opinion over, why we don't need to do that. Come on now, come on now. Let's let's get let's break this thing down. That's that's right off the break. That's verse one. Receive one who is is weak in faith, but not to dispute over doubtful things. We can receive people whose faith is not as strong as ours, as long as we're not going through those idle, having those those judgmental conversations. Like even when we uh, people of faith um, who love God and talking to someone else who maybe don't understand who God is, maybe. Um, and, and even especially when it comes down to Jesus, because God sometimes is an easy win, no matter all, what the faiths are all about. That's generally not even the, the debate. The debate is when it comes down to whether Jesus, okay, is our Lord and Savior. Come on, is is a Savior of, of man. Well, he is a Savior of men because he taught us the way. He taught us the truth. He taught us the light. He reminded us that God is real. Because see, before that, we were dealing with, there, there was Moses and there were other people, but Moses were showed the people that God is real. There were other prophets. There was Isaiah. There were people that, that said, okay, God is real. Let me tell you about it. But it, it, there were still, there were still some, 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 some issues Issues in there because there were laws that 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 man was starting to implement and, and use towards people under after the Ten Commandments. You you understand? So it was like it, it started getting confusing. And so Jesus said, "Okay, since the Ten Commandments was like, thou shalt not kill. Y'all don't understand. Okay, I, we don't want you out here killing each other because we have, now, now. Let me let you know. There's going to be people who's going to be doing some wrong. I'm telling you, this is why you should not kill. Okay." Because we're killing each other, we're hating each other for for nothing. We're all people. We're all here together. But but we have to understand that there is now no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus. So we understand that Jesus came so we could be free. He died. He took punishments. He got beat. He was he had a, a whole criminal's uh, a, a, a death. So that we can be free and understand and look at ourselves on how we treat one another. Okay, come on now. And this is a man who performed miracles. That's all he did was walk around doing good. And, he, if, and people still killed him. All he did was good. So if, if, if Jesus can die for, all, for doing good, then imagine what can happen in any one of our lives. That's why it's very important that we preach the gospel, that we share the love so that... 
our life, the good, even if we perish, even the good will sometimes perish early, that our life will carry the meaning behind it, that we show God's love. Come on, y'all, hallelujah. Let's not pass judgment. Who are you to say how I'm supposed to live my life? Who am I to say how are you supposed to live your life? Now, there is a, there is ways and degrees and, 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 and judgments that is wise, but there also are judgments where it comes on from personal, come on, personal opinions, personal opinions. We're not talking about fact. We're not talking about evaluation. We're not talking about communication. We're not talking about empathy. We're talking about personal issues. Ooh, it's getting good already. This is why we have to break this thing down. Okay, so and okay, so the next one says for the next verse, because that was verse one. Okay, so verse two says, for one who believes he may eat all things but he who is weak eats only vegetables let not him who eats despise him who does not eat and let not him who does not eat judge him who eats for god has received him now y'all this is absolutely major because what Paul is saying right here, it says, For one believes he may eat all things, but he who is weak eats only vegetables. Now, what Paul is saying is there's there's people who who has the ability to eat all things. They can just they, they can they can eat. Okay, and not even just eating as, as food. This is a parable, but this is there's certain things that he this person can do and that maybe this other person can't do because of their um ideolo ideologies or their 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 thought processes like, oh, I can't eat that because I don't know if that's gonna be good for me. So I'm just only gonna eat this right here. And so I'm gonna look my nose at you because you eat meat and I don't eat me now like for an example i mean i am a, a vegan class i mean vegetarian slash vegan like I, I only eat salmon on certain occasions this is by my own personal choice not by no religious practice or anything this is because i want to live my life in a healthier way so because i'm making choices how to change my life in the way that i want to eat how would i look at you know my baby who like chicken nuggets still okay and i still give him chicken nuggets if he likes some chicken nuggets he can have some chicken nuggets okay now yes i can adopt him he eats more vegan than anything because that's the way i eat so i feed him the way i eat however i still allow him to have different tastes of uh, of this world so at where he's able to make his own decisions on what he likes most how about that you know what I'm saying? And because I will show him the way. This is the way. This is the way. Mommy eats. This is the way we mostly eat. But this is this is something here. You could try this. You could you could try you could you could try some chicken. That doesn't mean that it's bad for you. That you eat chicken is bad. Chicken is not bad. Okay. You, you, you see what I'm saying? Just because I choose not to eat it does not mean that it is bad for someone else. Okay, so I should not. And this is what Paul was saying in that. It's like, because God receives him too. So let, let him who eats, let, let not him who eats despise him who does not eat. And let not him who does not eat judge him who eats. For God has received us. So no matter how it is, if you eat like that and you want, you want to eat what you want to eat, you can't judge somebody who does not want to eat that way. So what? And, and let's just break down some judgments before we get even, even any further in this. Because we're going to be talking about judgments a lot. And there are so many degrees of judgment. Okay? Now, the first definition that I have found um, when I was Googling, because there's two types of judgment, okay? There's judgment, J-U-D-G-M-E-N-T, and then there's the legal judgment, J-U-D-G-E-M-E-N-T, right? One has an E and the other does not. And so we're going to be breaking down some different judgments because they're, we, we're needing judgment. There is a certain judgment that we need, but there's a certain judgment that we, we need for ourselves 
Okay, there's a certain judgment that we need felt for ourselves and there is a certain judgment we need for ourselves in dealing with the world externally, but there are there is not a judgment that I need to apply towards you if I am not in the position or an expert in that area. Come on, y'all. Come on. If I'm not an expert in that area, if I'm not someone who is a a a a, a, a um a, a judge in the court of law who has went to school for years and understand what the 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 criminal and the the offense is to towards a crime and 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 is in the position to you know the to to enforce that law, then who are we to say what that crime and the punishment and the penalty for that is if that is not our expertise? Not that we don't have opinion of it, but uh, opinion and the judgment is very dangerous when we don't have a clear understanding on what it is that we have an opinion over. Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. So... Let's 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 break this down because I, I I want Lord just to just to, to let this thing come out Lord just let it come out the way you want. Okay, family, I'm just going to put the brakes on it right there. This word was getting so good to me, and I think that I could just talk about it all day and just really dissect this word. And so next week, y'all, please join me as we finish this whole The Judgment of Our Come Up Part 2, okay, when the hateration hits home. Because next week, it's not about necessarily when the hateration hits home but more about how we can properly make right discernment and judgment calls over our lives and our external life. Because I honestly believe that judgment is for us to judge ourselves, how we live, how we think about our lives, and so that we can make right choices for ourselves. And in turn, if we stay clear and stay educated on who we are, and then we have the ability to be able to make right discernment when it comes to other people. So God bless you guys and I'll see you next week.